9番セルゲイ・ボロノフさんロシア No.9 representing Russia セルゲイ・ボロノフ You're now the leader after the short program, the oldest competitor in the field in his 12th season on the Grand Prix, Sergei Voronov, two-time Russian champion in 2008 and 2009, but coming off his lowest placement at Russian Nationals, he was seventh in 2017. A magnificent short program, clean. He had a monster quad. When he hits these quads, they're so impressive. He has two planned in this free skate. Moneymaker right here, quad toe, gorgeous, triple toe. A lot of guys can hit the quads, but it comes down to the grade of execution, how well you execute it. That was a gorgeous quad. Incredible lift into the air on the triple axle. Here, the second quad. That will affect the grade of execution in the opposite way. When it comes to the grade of execution, it could be up to a plus three or down to a minus three. There is something so special about Sergei's being on this, the Grand Prix circuit for 12 seasons. He was taught very much in the old way, where each jump is a statement, each jump is big and beautiful. Many of the younger skaters will use the jumps almost as transitions. They aren't that special, they just kind of flow with the choreography. But his triple axle, his quad, there are moments in the program that's really beautiful and rare these days. Look at how he could possibly win this event. It really does come down to the technical content for him. Just to give a comparison, Adam got 85 points on the component score today. Verona's best ever component score is 81, so he definitely has to win when it comes down to the technical content.
This free program, though, has been so impressive. He's kept his mind solid and cold the whole way through, skated with his classic blurring of emotion. It was just a, a brilliant breakthrough performance for him. Breakthrough is such an interesting word to use for a guy who's 30 years old. He hasn't been at a major international competition in the last couple of years. Well, I guess timing is everything. Sergei Baranov will get his marks when we return. Sadie? Sergei Voronov's beautiful quad toe, triple toe combination, just so nice and straight in the air, and really, his quads and triple axles are statements. They are, you know, Jason Brown's beautiful spins or Adam Rippon's beautiful style. Sergey Voronov really has those moments he with these jumps. He gets the hang in the air. This was his other quad. It wasn't as good as the first one. He put his foot down. That will affect his grade of execution. Watch that reach back. He has such good timing and lift, and that's where he gets that nice hang before he starts rotating, but this time waited just a little bit too long. Had just under six points over Adam Rippon after the short program. Seems to have beaten Adam on the technical side of things in the free program. Has to rely on very good component scores for him. His highest ever, 81. Really the, the best I've seen him skate in quite some time. It was very inspiring. It's not so much that he's been doing, he's doing tricks that he didn't already do years putting ago. Putting it all together. It's putting it all together. Making a moment. It upgrades the performance, Johnny. He needs a 171.94 to keep the lead. That would be a personal best. Wow, and he gets it. it by about 10 points. Well deserved. He has reached his season's best in free skating. That is a personal best and more than enough to put Baranov ahead of Adam Rippon with two skaters still to go. So a couple of veterans up at the top there, Baranov with about a 10 point, well, about a nine point lead over Adam Rippon. Keegan Messing, meantime, in third there, you see Adam Rippon feeling very happy about his position right now.